So as you are aware that uh, we flashed Pixel OS on my friend's OnePlus 9RT. So now he wants to go back to stock Oxygen OS because he had a lot of issues. And especially he doesn't want his stuff to be visible to others as there is no app locks on Pixel. Uh, obviously if you are buying a Pixel there is no app lock as well. Uh, so yeah here you can see that it is running on the December security patch 114. So, how we will go back to our oxygen os and what i didn't like about uh, this oneplus 9rt is that the tutorials on youtube are not that quite good and we had a lot of uh, what uh, searching before flashing their custom room because there was no title rp so how you can do that you will need to download the fastboot file then uh, just reboot the device to fastboot then just flash the dtbo image file and then just install the bat file and you are done so we'll be doing all that make sure that your uh, drivers are all perfectly working because if your drivers are not working then your fast boot your device will not get detected so yeah see you guys in fast boot mode as we have booted into fast boot and how do you boot into fast boot you just need to keep holding all the three buttons like the volume up and down and the power button and you will boot into fast boot of your oneplus 9 rt device so now let's uh, move on to our system what are the files we need okay, so first command you need to type is fastboot devices to check that your device is getting recognized or not and secondly you will need to download this fastboot room i will add that link in the description so that you guys will be able to download it now once you have downloaded the fastboot room extract it go to image and then we'll be flashing first the dtbo file so let's uh, move to our cmd not to do rp guys there is no to do rp here <laughs> you can see the command is face boot fast boot not fast boot fast boot flash dtbo and you just uh, need to drag the dtbo file here and you'll just press enter and then we are done this is the first uh, this is the first process there is still uh, a thing to do so once your dtbo has been done we'll need to install the bat file so will not do that as per the instructions on the rsd side there should be an install.bat file however i'm seeing only one install file here so we'll be doing that and then we are ready to go yeah yeah so guys here is the install bat file so you just need to do that don't do the below one I was unable to uh just <laughs> forgot to record when i clicked on it let me scroll like what happened so after you click N, like it will do a lot of things, a lot of installations and all. So once it's done, now your device will uh, reboot into this mode, recovery mode or whatever you call it. So however, don't touch your device or anything. It will be, everything will be done automatically. This uh, bat file handles everything. So yeah, I'm just trying to go up, 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 like what has happened to show you as I was unable to show you when it happened but something below is going on and on and on so I'm not able to come up you see yeah so let's go down for now okay okay we went two below I guess okay let's scroll down now so let the installation be completed then I'll show you what is happened so nothing you just need to flash the YouTube image and then just click on the install bat file and then you are done uh, installation has just almost completed so as i skipped doing that so i'll be showing you what happened here so after uh, you install the bat file you'll uh, get option that you want to uh, root or not just click no here we don't want to root and then uh, it will give a pop-up that uh, bootloader cannot be logged so after all this 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 uh, like after one or two minutes your uh, device will uh, reboot into recovery and still the installation will go on and on and on you can see how many files have got installed now let's what it is asking reboot to system if you see error in black you want to reflash before flashing we'll click why we want to reboot to our system so our installation has been a success let's see do we boot or not that is what the ultimate goal hopefully we should be able to boot this is oxygen os so yes guys you can see the oneplus logo 
we have booted successfully hopefully this is not a boot loop first boot uh, usually guys it takes some time so we are waiting keeping our fingers crossed so that it actually boots and yes our oneplus 9rt has booted let me set it up obviously it will be for him so we'll give him his device to set it up i'll just uh, do the bare minimum for now i skipped the wi-fi thing for now as i don't want to lo uh, log into the college wi-fi and unlock method that will be done by him later i don't want to do it just want to show that uh, we were success in our oxygen slashing so Turn this global search off, quick connect off, it is are not required. Oxygen OS have been successfully booted of our OnePlus 9RT. Let's go to settings so that uh, we can know what version of Oxygen OS we are in about device. So yeah, it's Ox okay, there's no internet. So Oxygen OS 13.1 official version. Let me turn on the internet, but uh, 5g doesn't work in our area so that's uh, very very unfortunate let's hope that it works today okay it is working so we are on the latest version of oxygen os uh, what to m2 whatever that is 592 ex01 version it probably is the november security patch i guess it is totally weird guys this has the september security patch and my realme has got november security patch what are you doing oxygen os guys you guys are so slow anyways this has the september security patch so yeah everything works i guess fine let me uh, hold the phone first turn on the camera that camera works or not that should be important as well okay 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 camera works now front camera also works so everything working fine now let's give his phone back to him we're done